This engine is being assembled and we're now at the point of installing and properly timing the camshafts. Start on the left hand side of the engine. Rotate the crankshaft until the keyway lines up with the rear cylinder timing mark cast into the crankcase. Use a straight edge to help you line up the timing marks. The rear camshaft is marked with a groove to distinguish it from the front camshaft. Install the rear camshaft and cam chain together into the rear cylinder head. Let the chain drop down to the crankshaft. Time the camshaft using its horizontal marks. Work the cam chain onto the subshaft sprocket while keeping the camshaft timed to the cylinder head and the sprocket timed to the crankcase mark. Afterward, install the shorter crankshaft chain and double check the timing. This important step determines the correct timing of both camshafts. Note that the subshaft has a specially indexed spline. When it engages the sprocket, it can go in only one way. While holding the subshaft sprocket with one hand, with the other hand install the subshaft. Don't forget the snap ring. Now rotate the crankshaft clockwise, that is, opposite from the engine's running direction, until the keyway lines up with the front cylinder mark in the crankcase. Again, use the straight edge to check the alignment. On the right side of the engine, take a look at the subshaft to double check that its timing marks are now lined up. If not, earlier steps were not done correctly. Install the cam chain into the front cam chain tunnel and slip the end of the chain over the subshaft sprocket. Finally, install and time the front cylinder's camshaft. 